Protests in Iran have now entered the eighth week. That is in itself an incredible feat. Iran is known to suppress dissenting voices, especially public demonstrations. Yet, the anti-regime protests being led by women this time are showing no signs of dying down. Instead, Iran has been left red-faced before the whole world, and its atrocities against protesters have shocked people in various parts of the globe. Tempers within Iran's clergy are running high, and the Shiite nation is now threatening to unleash chaos across the Middle East. Hello and welcome. This is Sanbir Singh Ranhotra, and you're watching First Post. Iran is quite a hostile country. Its arch nemesis in the Middle East are Israel and Saudi Arabia. Iran has accused foreign powers, including Saudi Arabia, the US, and Israel, of orchestrating the mass anti regime protests in the country. Iran has started believing its own claims now. Rather than working to give Iranian women the rights they've been asking for, the country's regime now believes that all the unrest is being caused by foreign powers. And these foreign powers are about to be punished for what they're up to. Iran's making no secret of its violent plans. Iran's intelligence minister told Saudi Arabia on Wednesday that there is no guarantee of Tehran continuing its strategic patience any longer. Intelligence minister Ismail Khatib was quoted by news agency Fars as saying, Until now, Iran has adopted strategic patience with firm rationality, but it cannot guarantee that it will not run out if hostilities continue. In a startling threat, he added, and I quote, If Iran decides to retaliate and punish, glass palaces will crumble and these countries will not experience stability anymore. Essentially, Iran is threatening countries in the Middle East with outright violence. Iran's primary target is Saudi Arabia. Last month, Iran's Revolutionary Guards Chief Hossein Salami directly warned the Saudi royal family, saying Riyadh needs to control its media outlets. Salami said, and I quote, I am warning the Saudi ruling family, watch your behavior and control these media, otherwise you will pay the price. This is our last warning because you are interfering in our state matters through these media. We told you, be careful. Last week, Saudi Arabia had shared intelligence with the United States of Iran planning to carry out an imminent attack on Saudi soil. The US said it was in constant touch with the Saudis regarding the threat posed by Iran and that Washington will not hesitate to act in the defense of our interests and partners in the region. Both Saudi Arabia and the United States are worried that Iran is very close to striking energy infrastructure across the Middle East. If successful, Iran would be plunging the world deeper into an energy crisis. The war in Ukraine has upended energy markets in any case. Middle Eastern energy infrastructure being attacked will have a devastating impact on oil supplies and prices. Iran's Islamic regime faces its biggest challenge yet in the form of the ongoing protests. The clerics haven't seen anything like this since the 1979 Islamic revolution that brought them to power. And Iran's agencies are failing to subvert the protests. That's what is frustrating the clergy even more. So, an obvious outlet for Iran to vent its anger is the Middle East. Region Tehran now seems keen to set on fire. Do you think Iran will be able to carry out attacks across the Middle East?